What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today we're taking a look at a computer that I believe really does check off the boxes in a lot of categories when it comes to a great display, a lot of power, a beautiful design that is also very durable, as well as security features, and also the latest, greatest technology in both the internals and also the port design. So there's definitely a lot to cover today, and I also wanna give a huge thanks to HP Canada for partnering with me in this video. I know the back to school season is going to be coming up very soon, and I know you guys love that type of content, so if you're excited for some of our guides make sure you subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below as some of the product categories that we should definitely cover so this right here is the HP Spectre X360 computer with a 4K display, and it also has the 11th gen i7 processor. We have checked out a lot of HP computers on the channel in the past, and I think the biggest trend that we're noticing is that HP has done a great job when it comes to hardware design and just building the computers very nicely. In addition to that, there's also a lot of security focus as well, and I think this right here really does bring everything together because it is a premium computer that is close to the top of HP's lineup. So if you're really looking for the best power, but also a computer that could flip like this and be used as a tablet with the included pen, then you really have it all. So we're gonna talk about the different categories, uh, the display itself and how it is for creative work, as well as the power capabilities and whether or not it can video edit, do photo editing, how the hardware design is, and also some small features that I think some people are really going to enjoy when factoring the ultimate work from home computer that is also gonna be good for portable use once that becomes a thing again. So as you guys can probably tell, I really do care about the design, whether it is interiors or products. And I feel like this is a computer that as soon as you see it from its packaging and everything is just so well put together. It is made out of metal and it has like this nice brush finish that goes all around the chamfered edge. Everything is just very well cut and it is made out of aluminum. So when you're bringing the computer around, it just feels very solid. And at the same time with the tapered off edges, it also feels quite thin despite the power that it's able to deliver. The corners also have a bit of a cutout as well, where you will find your power button as well as a Thunderbolt 4 port on one of the other corners, which I think is a great feature because a lot of times you might have your mouse on the right side and you wanna plug in your SSD or just like an external accessory or plug it into a monitor and you don't necessarily need your USB Type-C port to be on the side and in the way. So by having one in the corner here, it kinda just stays out of the way. So I feel like this does have some functional design, but beyond that, it also just looks really good. I also really like the fact that the bezels are nice and thin. It's a 13 inch laptop, which makes it very portable, but the screen just goes right up to the edge. And this right here is a 4K OLED display. As someone who does a lot of photo editing, having the 100% DCI P3 color gamut is a great feature to have. It also has a good level of brightness at around 400 nits. Definitely not the brightest display on the market, but it's comparable to most of the top computers in the industry. And I think the colors overall have a good sense of like a vibrant representation but at the same time an accurate color as well for those who need to really reference things. With a 4K resolution and a 13 inch screen, you also have plenty of real estate to work with. So with a computer having all of the best specs, you want to be able to run multiple tasks at once. And by having a 4K display built in, being able to do that on the go, I think is really nice. When it comes to any portable computer, it doesn't really mean much if the keyboard is not great. And honestly, the keyboard on this computer is overall very nice to type on. And with the aluminum frame and just the thinness of the computer, I find that the keyboard is very comfortable. Everything is very nicely spaced out. And I don't really have any complaints whatsoever. There's also a backlit as well, which is a feature that you do expect. And when it comes to the trackpad, I find that it is like a pretty good width and it fits in quite nicely but I would say if there is one area that I don't think is the best feature of this computer it is probably the trackpad and I would recommend using an external mouse. I think what I've really liked about the HP X360 lineup though is just the number of modes that you're able to use it in. This right here is a metal hinge and it just feels super durable. There is just no bend or flex at all in either of the corners and you're able to either use it as a laptop, but you can also have it in tent mode, say you're just sitting at the dining table and want to watch a movie and just want to set it down. And you can also fold it down as a tablet as well and um, actually have it so that you can just walk around and draw your notes and everything. And with the bezel being so thin, I think that really does contribute to the tablet experience because you're not carrying something that you feel like is a bit imbalanced. It is just like a nice way to just be able to do all of your tasks and access everything on a full-fledged computer that is very powerful. I think for some people, the pen is also gonna be an accessory that you use quite a bit. I find that the tip is nice to write with, and if you're doing like architectural work or engineering and you wanna be able to make markings on the drawing, or in my case, when it comes to video editing, being able to draw on screen and mark things to my editor, or even go as far as doing photo editing and actual drawing on the display, depending on your skill level, 
It is just a great piece that they've included. I like that you don't have to purchase it separately. And there is also a magnet built into the side. So if you want to take it with you, it just kind of sits on there and you don't forget it. When it comes to some of the other topics of the specs though, you have your standard USB 3 port on one side as well as your headphone jack and your power button. But on the other side, you have your Thunderbolt 4 ports. And there's actually two of them and they're used for both charging and data transfer. The reason why Thunderbolt 4 is significant is that compared to Thunderbolt 3, you're able to connect it to two 4K displays or one 8K display. And nowadays with 4K displays being more accessible, I can see a lot of people having two monitors that they may want to use to be able to really maximize that screen real estate. It's also able to transfer at 40 gigabytes per second, as well as have the capability of 32 gigabytes per second on PCIe, which is double of Thunderbolt 3. To be totally honest though, a lot of the SSDs that you can find on the market today are not going to have the capability to fully take advantage of Thunderbolt 4. But going down the road, it is just nice to have something that is future proof. And I do feel like the ability to have two 4K displays powered by the laptop is pretty significant. On the topic of specs, this is powered by an i7 11th gen processor and it is under the Intel Evo certification. And we have tested quite a few computers that are under that Evo and what that essentially means is a promise of power, efficiency, as as well as security and also fast weight capabilities. So if you have this computer in sleep mode, just open it up and it will respond right away up to two times faster compared to computers that aren't in the Evo certification lineup. But the Intel i7 processor is one that allows you to do more than just daily productivity tasks. If you wanna do like photo editing and are editing like an entire batch, for example, or even editing video in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, this computer is going to be able to handle. It is definitely on the thinner side and you will see that the fan will pick up when you really do start to test it but in terms of like overall power paired with the ddr4 16 gigs of ram i found that doing video editing in 1080p or even 4k is not a problem the 11th gen processors also have Intel X graphics that are integrated, which is up to double the performance of the previous generation. And although it doesn't have dedicated graphics, this is a computer that is literally the size of an Ultrabook. It is super thin and light, weighing in at 1.27 kilograms. And so I think the way you look at this computer is one that is the maximum amount of power that you can get for this size and form factor. Another area that HP has also really focused on in the past few years, and we've demonstrated on the channel before, is security. And some companies definitely put more attention to it than others, some of which through software. But what I really like is that HP has gone with the route of hardware security, which just gives the consumer a much bigger peace of mind. Because no matter how much software security and stuff you have, hardware is always gonna be a more secure method. So here are three features that they've done. The first one is the privacy screen. So say you enable the privacy screen, people aren't able to see what is on your computer screen except for whoever is sitting right in front of it. So say you have like spreadsheets or sensitive information, then you can just enable the privacy screen and nobody can like see what exactly you're doing on your computer. The next thing that I also think is very handy is having the webcam kill switch. And this right here is a physical webcam kill switch. So you know that is fully disconnected and no matter how your computer gets access, the webcam itself is physically disabled. I see people all the time having like tape or like sticky notes on their webcam, but with the bezel so small, that would look terrible. So you definitely don't want that. And at the same time, you don't wanna leave like residue and stuff on your computer screen over time. So the physical kill switch is a great feature as well. The other thing is you also have a fingerprint sensor on the bottom. It is super fast and responsive and it's another layer of security that I think computers should all have. And I like the fact that they have it on the side and not on the corner of the actual trackpad because that just doesn't make much sense. So if you guys have been watching the videos, you probably know by now that my daily tasks on a computer are relatively simple. I do Notion, I'm on Google Chrome all the time, might have a lot of tabs open, going through like Shopify of one company and on the Notion page of another, and just generally navigating through all the emails and general information. But I also do quite a bit of photo editing and I really like to use the retouching tools in Lightroom or Photoshop. When I was doing all these tasks at the same time on this computer, with the amount of power that it provided, I didn't notice any hiccups at all. And that kind of makes sense with an i7 processor that is quad core and also has 16 gigs of fast RAM. On the video editing side of things, as I mentioned, once I tried it, it was able to handle 4K video no problem, but the fans do pick up at some point and with the thickness of the computer, you do sort of expect that. The next thing though is the speakers and HP has a partnership with Bang & Olufsen to provide great audio technology and the speakers are actually located on the bottom on the angular side of the computer. So when you set it down, it does still have space to have 
the uh, audio come out of and have a very high quality sound representation. And even though it would have sounded even better if it was on like the front or on top of the computer, because the bezels are so thin and the form factor is kept relatively small for the sake of being able to use it as a tablet, that was just one of the trade-offs. But here's a sound test of the Bang & Olufsen speakers on the Spectre 13. So when it comes to battery life, that is another area of the Intel Evo certification that mentions battery life should be nine hours or more. And this computer claims to have just over nine hours of battery life, but based on tasks that may use a little bit more of the graphic capabilities, you're probably gonna get anywhere from like three to four, maybe five hours. And if you're just doing like general productivity tasks and watching movies, then hitting nine shouldn't be a problem. But this computer is definitely one that delivers a lot of power. The 4K display being an OLED panel is one that is going to consume more than a 1080p. It is also a touch screen as well. So this is a computer where you probably are going to have to plug it in if you're doing full on work for an entire day. The good thing though is that it doesn't use a proprietary port or anything. It has a USB type C charger, which I want to see on every single computer moving forward. If you don't want to use a pen, it is also a touchscreen, but honestly, I don't really use the touchscreen functionality that much. I'm typically using a mouse or keyboard, or I might try to use the pen that is included as well, but it's always just a good feature to have. But otherwise, what are my opinions of the HP Spectre 13 X360 convertible laptop with 4K display? And I've got to say, if you're looking for a computer that is like the top top end of specs, has great portability, the best build quality out there, and also a great display. This computer literally checks every single box. And for any like corporate users who have to have tight security, then having the physical functions as well is super important. I think for a computer of this form factor, you can expect that it can be a very good desktop productivity machine. But if you're literally just like editing videos and stuff, then you probably should look for like a larger model that also has more breathability, a dedicated graphics card. But I would say for the category that the HP Spectre computer in, it is pretty much the top of the line. And if you go ahead and purchase it, then I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. I personally really like the build quality as soon as it came. I like the chamfered edges. I feel like it just looks very good. It is built very well. And I have no complaints of the design itself. The display is great as well. And the only minor complaint I have is that the trackpad could definitely be better, but I'm usually a mouse user either way, even if the trackpad on the computer is good. I also think a lot of times, companies go the easy route of making a computer that has the latest and greatest specs for that year, but also miss out on some other features such as Thunderbolt 4 or having enough ports and also additional features such as like DDR4 RAM. So I like the fact that HP has done more than just upgrading the processor to the latest and greatest 11th generation and putting an EVO certification on it. It has Thunderbolt 4, which is great to have if you have multiple displays and have a faster data rate on certain SSDs. For anybody who's doing creative work, that is always a huge factor in the performance, um, along with how it cooperates with the internal graphics and the CPU. But at the same time, it still does have a respectable battery life for the power that it's able to provide. So if you guys are looking for a computer that is able to essentially do everything from a work from home and also multimedia perspective and is super versatile, this is one that I can definitely recommend. When it comes to the sustainability side of things though, HP designs its products and packaging that can be conveniently recycled or reused with the HP recycling program. HP also makes the most sustainable PC portfolio of products. HP's claim of having the world's most sustainable PC portfolio is also based on the criteria set out by EPEAT, the most comprehensive, measurable, and transparent eco-label in the IT industry. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.